Right. Is there anything you can't capture on these um, videos? Is the smell of silage is really, really strong. I'm just going to do a little video of the outside of Otterhampton Church. Seems to come to a dead end on this bit. I wasn't expecting this church actually. <laughs> Looks like someone's just slapped on some stuff just to keep it sort of decaying, isn't it? There's dibbles and ducats graves here. I don't know if there's somebody connected to Bill. Um, Bill and my sister's partner, whether he's got dibbles and ducats. I've got a feeling he's got ducats. Look at this lovely little doorway, look. They must have been really short in those days, mustn't they? And look at that beautiful scene over there, look, as we come out. A lovely, beautiful field. It might get lighter in a minute. There's another graveyard there, but there's someone in there. There's the Duckett graves here. Arthur Duckett, Amy Duckett, Helen Mary. Then you've got Fanny Duckett, Mary Duckett, and it looks like it could be Edward John Duckett. There's a ducket there, next to a dibble. All Saints, Otterhampton. This church is cared for by the Churches Conservation Trust, the national charity protecting history churches at risk. Although no longer used for regular worship, our churches remain consecrated and open to all. Sad, isn't it? smell of silage is making me feel ill. This is stuck out right out in the middle of nowhere. Great big church. get right round these places so you can see the hidden graves as well. So there's a Thomas Hunt who died 1856, 847. There's a few uh, graves there. One stuck in the tree there and one covered up, see? I took a picture of this one earlier. <sighs> William John Biffin. Victor William Biffin and Edith Annie Biffin and William John Biffin. He died in a parliamentarian. Yeah, he died in 2007. There's a graveyard over there.
Right, over and out everyone. In a minute.